Hi, I'm Susie Cowper and welcome to the Tea Cozy Folk vlog for February. And I've got quite a few things to show you this month. So I'm going to kick off with a hot water bottle cover. Have you seen it? The pattern is in the Simply Knitting magazine that went on sale on the 25th of January, I think it was. And it's knitted in Aran and the little bits of detail are knitted in um, double knitting. And it's a lovely hot water bottle cover and it utilises the shape of the bottle to be a whale. And it's really cute. Look, and you can access the end there, you know, for putting the water in so you don't have to unbuckle anything or, you know, undo a lot of buttons. And then if you want to get your bottle out, it comes out there through a little envelope flap, you know, like the pillowcases. So that is in the Simply Knitting magazine at the moment. And because it's been so cold, it's lovely to have a hot water bottle. And that one's a super cute hot water bottle, isn't it? My daughter loves it. She likes to cuddle up with him. The first tea cozy I've got to show you is Alfred the Great. And here he is. And I really like him. Look. He looks really medieval in the green and the dark red, doesn't he? And um, he's got his tray with his burnt cakes. And he's the first Saxon king. And I think he's really cool. And I love his little crown. These little bits are knitted into the first row. So reduce the sewing up, you know, with lots of fiddly bits. And um, he's already on the website. You can download him now. In fact, some people have. And I've started seeing pictures coming in. It's so lovely to see the pictures of your tea cozies. Keep them coming. I love to see them. At the beginning of January, I launched this little chap. He's a Chinese rabbit tea cozy for the Chinese rabbit year. Isn't he cute? And, you know, he's really bright. He's not trying to look real, really, but you could do him in browns or greys, I suppose. But I thought he looked nice and cheerful in bright colours. And he's got his Chinese lantern, because it's Chinese year, and he's really cute. But the nice thing about him is, he doesn't just have to be a Chinese rabbit. He could be an Easter bunny, couldn't he? I mean, you know, if you knitted him a little Easter egg instead of a lantern, he would be so cute for an Easter bunny. And he is very pretty and it's beautiful colours. I love his big feet. He's already launched, so you'll find him on the website so you can go and download him today. This little beauty is the bingo lady, Tea Cozy. And I love her so much, she's so cool. I love her hair and I love her glasses and she's bright and colourful and I love her little hands, they're so sweet. But she's um, got bingo balls pinging all around her and she's got her bingo ticket. I think she's got a full house. And um, yeah, she's just so cool. And her jumper, if you ever look closely at her jumper, the pattern's a little puff stitch and it looks trickier than it is actually. And I've made a help video so you can see how to do this. And I'll put the link down below. But it's a lovely pattern and it's a lovely tea cozy. She's so gorgeous and bright and it's really cute. And it's all, you know, inspired by retro bingo, I'm afraid. I've not been since I was a little girl. But that's what I remember, the, the bright balls in the bingo machine. So I thought I'd base it around that. This tea cozy won't be available until this Thursday, which I believe is the 9th of February. So if you're on the newsletter already, you'll get a newsletter to say that she's been launched. But if not, pop your name on and then you'll find out when she gets launched and then you can knit one too. This is a sneaky preview of an up and coming tea cozy that won't be available until the 16th of February. And here he is. He's a lucky chimney sweep. And he's wearing a top hat and he's got his chimney sweep brush with him and a little neckerchief. And he's got a piece of rope to help him pull his brush down the chimney. And he's got a bucket of soot. And he's got a lucky shamrock in his hat just to bring a bit of extra good look. 
He's really sweet. I really enjoyed making him. He's such a cutie. And he'll be on the website on the 16th. But again, if you're on the newsletter, you'll get a newsletter telling you when he becomes available. The tea cosy I'm working on at the moment is the coronation of King Charles. And I'm going to have him sitting in the coronation throne. And, um, and this is as far as I've got at the moment. I've got to be careful because I've not stitched the bottom. So he's not actually hanging on to the teapot. He's just perched there. But, you know, that's the back of the throne. And then, um, ooh, and King Charles will be sat. So his legs will come down the front. These are the legs of the throne. So, you know, it's coming on, but it's a bit of an epic tea cosy this one. It's going to be, I think it's going to be a 10 sheeter. There's a lot to knit and a lot to do and a lot of detail, especially in his costume. There's a lot of detail. So, but I'm enjoying doing it. I quite like it. I kind of like trying to make a round teapot look square and cube-like and turn it into a throne. It's quite good fun. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. And that's all I've got to show you at the minute. I have been working on other projects. One's a bespoke tea cosy and also there's, oh, another one that I've been working on for Simply Knitting, but of course I can't tell you about that yet. But as soon as I can, I will. But yeah, so it's been busy, busy this end and, you know, getting lots of things done. And also it seems to have been busy, busy that end because I'm up to nearly 600 subscribers on YouTube. Woohoo! <laughs> it's so exciting. It's so nice to see that more and more people are subscribing and watching the vlogs. It's really excellent. Thank you so much for everybody who's subscribed and who's shown their support. Thank you. And, um, and I'll see you again next month and I'll have more to show you. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye.